and I love you I'm the living proof you can do whatever it is you want to Honest glue, you ain't gotta count it I'm sipping on a brew, doing donuts in the Audi I had to step it up cause my song's hard But the bar's lousy, we smoke thick Got your so drowsy, oh yeah, let me hear it Fans going nuts, you can smell the team Hey, what is good guys? This is Key P Back with another tutorial for you guys Welcome to my channel. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, please help me out by subscribing and liking this video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to achieve the uh, Oliver Francis vocal effect using nothing but stock plugins in FL Studio. I'm going to be showing you a before and after. Uh, you already kind of heard the after in the beginning in the intro. To start out, I'm just going to show you the before and what it sounded like. For the sake of time, I'm just going to be showing you the final presets because if I went through 20 plugins, you're going to be here for quite a while. I know that can take a lot of time out of your day trying to copy everything. So if you'd like, you can actually cop this preset kit in the description below. I also have this and many more FLPs available at my website at beatsbykey.com. So go ahead and check those out. I also have bundle packages those are brand new I have essentially three FLPs in one kit for the price of two you can go ahead and check those out again the websites at beatsbykey.com all right so the first thing that you want to do is record your vocals into FL studio if you don't know how to record your vocals I actually have a video showing you how to do that so go ahead and watch that and then come back to this the next thing that you want to do is make sure that your target mixer track is properly set to the correct number in your mixer slot. So you can see here that this is my main vocals. If you double click, you can see that this main vocal is set to two in the mixer slot. And then you can see the ad libs are gonna be set to number three in the mixer slot. So uh, that's where we want to be. I used a Rode NT2A condenser microphone and I recorded that into a Focusrite Scarlett 6i6 audio interface. And then I provided the links in the description in case you are interested in getting them. I also have alternative equipment links so you guys have different options to choose from. So you guys can check that out. Uh, without further ado, let's get into this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out by muting the beat. And then I'm going to turn off the ad libs because he only has two ad libs, as you can see right here. And I'm going to be showing you the main vocals before. Quick disclaimer I am not an artist. I never claim to be. I am a producer and audio engineer. So if you guys need your songs mixed and mastered by me, you can go ahead and check out my website for details. But otherwise, uh, just uh, listen to the vocal effects in this song, not necessarily my vocals. So let's go ahead and play this without the vocal effects. You can see I turned it off. Two hundreds blue, you ain't got to count it. I'm sipping on a brew, doing donuts in the Audi. I had to step it up because my song's hard, but the bar's lousy. We smoke thick, got your so drowsy. Oh yeah, let me hear it. Fans going nuts, you can smell the team spirit. It's hey. a brand new year and hey. you know we finna get it, Cloud Boy CEO. So as you can see, there's a whole lot of uh, vocal effects going into this, this actual vocal. The first thing that you're going to see here is a pitcher. And pitcher is FL Studio's autotune. So this key is set to a C minor, and the speed is at fast, and the gender is set to male. So I'm going to turn off all these vocal effects and kind of show you a before and after. So let me turn those off. So I'm gonna keep the picture on and then we're gonna go through these two EQs. I pulled up a parametric EQ2. This is what I do for a lot of my vocal effects. Right away you see here that I took out a lot of the low ends right here uh, because Oliver, he doesn't have any lows in his vocals. You could kind of see here, this looks like a bouncy bouncy ball effect here. I like doing these kind of effects because, uh, because it cleans up the vocals. It takes out the unwanted frequencies in the vocals. You could see here that the widths, I decrease the widths, widths of the bands very low because it takes out more of the unwanted frequencies at a precise level. I will go ahead and turn that on. And then I also have the key PEQ vocals or just EQ vocals. And what it is, it's another parametric EQ too. And this time I took out even more lows and uh, you can see here I have this band, this one band pretty much cutting off everything. So right here, I have the lows a little bit cut out right here but uh you can see that the highs are are very high right here it's almost at plus six i gain the vocals to add a plus six that's at uh, 132,640 frequencies <laughs> or hertz i should say so i'm gonna let you hear what it sounds like with and without so with first 
two hundreds blue. You ain't gotta count it. I'm sipping on a brew, doing donuts in the out. Oh. I had to step it up, cause my song's hard, but the bar's lousy. We smoke thick, got With. your so drowsy, uh, yeah. You can definitely hear a difference. You're gonna hear that it's a lot quieter when I turned on the vocal effects. That's only because I'm taking out kind of a lot of the unwanted frequencies that the microphone picks up. You're gonna see that later on in the video, I show you how to beef up the vocals again. The next two are Maximus plugins. So when I load the first Maximus plugin, it's a DS or narrow band. All I did was go to presets, right click, and went to DS or narrow band, and adjusted this, uh, this band right here. And I have the gain set to 1.2 decibels. Kept everything else the same. The next thing that I have is this Maximus. I pulled up another Maximus. And this is essentially a compressor and an EQ at the same time. So you can see here that the bands, you're gonna see here that uh, I raised the gain to right about 1.1 decibels right here. You're gonna see this band is at 5.5 .5 decibels. As far as the low goes, he has very, like no lows whatsoever when it comes to the vocal effects. So you can see here the mid for the mids, I compressed the vocals just a little bit, as well as the highs, I compressed it a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this with and without. So uh, with with first. Two hundreds blue, you ain't gotta count it. I'm sipping on a brew, doing donuts in without. the Audi. I had to step it up cause my song's hard, but the bar's with. lousy. We smoke thick, got your. So you're not going to hear a big difference, especially if you don't have good headphones on. It might be a little quiet. Sorry. You know, hopefully you could kind of hear it. This will increase the vocals. The next thing that we have, the next two that we have will essentially increase the vocals. The first thing that I have is a sound goodizer. I have this plugin set at A and I have the amount turned to right about here. This sound goodizer actually will play that alone with and without. This increases the wanted frequencies in the vocals. So uh, this is important to have, definitely important to have. So I'll play with and then without. Two hundreds blue, you ain't gotta count it. I'm sipping on a brew, doing donuts Without. in the Audi. I had to step it up, cause my With. song's hard, but the bar's lousy. We smoke thick, got your so drowsy. Uh, yeah, let me hear it. So you can definitely hear a big difference with sound goodizer on. The next thing that you're gonna hear is a fruity limiter, and this is gonna be your compressor. I use this as a limiter and compressor, I should say. As far as the limiter goes, I have the ceiling set to negative one. I have the gain set to three decibels. I have the threshold set at 16.1 decibels, negative 16.1 decibels. I have no knee on this uh, compressor. And then as far as the ratio, it's set at 2.1. I have just a little bit of attack and release. And then the sustain is set at 115 milliseconds. And that's what I have there. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the effects are with and without so far. Two hundreds blue, you ain't gotta count it. I'm sipping on a brew, doing Without. donuts in the Audi. I had to step it up, cause With. my song's hard, but the bar's lousy. We smoke thick, got your. So, as you can hear, it definitely gave the vocals a little bit more beef and then it increased the volume just a little bit more that's what we want because uh i mix everything very very low as you could tell in the uh recording as well as just listening to all the vocal effects off now it's time for the effects in the vocals the first thing that i did was add a fruity flangus this gave it a cool like coarse sounding effect in the vocals i decreased the mix level to around let's see ne uh, 33 percent as far as the fruity flangus goes you could just copy these presets here and then i'm gonna go ahead and play this with 200s blue you ain't gotta count it i'm sipping on a brew doing donuts without. in the Audi. i had to step it up because my song's hard with. but the bar's lousy we smoke it so it gave it a flangus effect a coarse effect and it also gave it some stereo effect too you could kind of hear your vocals in both headphones a little bit better next thing that we have is a fruity fast disc and what this does is it gives it a little bit of the distortion in the vocals. It also increases like, it also gives it a, a guitar kind of effect in the vocals. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and let you hear what it sounds like with and without. So with first. Two hundreds blue, you ain't gotta count it. I'm sipping on a without. brew, doing donuts in the Audi. I had to step it up cause with. my song's hard but the bar's lousy. We Gives it a little bit of grit in the vocals and I really like that sound and that's what he uses in his vocals. The next thing that we have is a Fruity Delay 2. He doesn't have any reverb in his vocals for this song at least, but as far as the Fruity Delay 2 goes, I have the time set at four steps. I have the cut off to right around here, the volume right there. As far as the feedback goes, I kept it at normal and I decreased the dryness of the volume to right around here. And then the mix level, 
I have that at around 13%. So we can hear what this sounds like. It gives it a faint delay in the vocals, but that's what he uses. So let's go ahead and listen to it. Honey's blue, you ain't gotta count it. I'm sipping on a brew, doing donuts in the Audi. I had to step it up, cause my song's hard, but the bar's lousy. We smoke thick, got your so drowsy. Uh. Perfect. So that's what we got for the main vocals. And then for the ad libs, you're going to see that I kept everything else the same. The only thing that I changed was the EQ and I just right clicked and then went to old telephone and it gave me this cool telephone effect. Let's hear what just the ad libs sound like. Yeah. And this one. And then I just made the stereo separation at 100%. It's just to give it a little bit more variation so the vocals aren't so close together. In the FLP, you're not going to get the vocals and the main vocals pushed over to the left. So uh, we can reset that. But the ad libs, I did keep panned to the left about 8%. The last but not least thing that we have is a on the master track, I did use an Ozone A Elements. What I essentially did was go to presets, clean limiting, and uh, went to maximizer put the ceiling to 0.1 decibels and decrease the threshold to five, negative 5.5. I'm actually gonna be creating a video on how to master your vocals using Ozone 8 Elements. Um, this is a really powerful mastering tool. I use it for a lot of these vocal effects. So I said, hey, why not show you guys what I use and hopefully you guys can apply it to your own mixes as well. The next thing I have is a Ulean loudness mixer or a Ulean loudness meter. I actually have a video showing you how to use the Ulean loudness meter. This doesn't do anything to the vocals itself. It does tell you where the loudness of your vocals sit though. So this is a very powerful tool. If you don't have it, download it for free. I use this for every mix that I have. That is it for today, guys. I know it can be a lot of information thrown your way and I know it can be kind of tough uh, copying everything for these vocal effects. So if you want, I do have the download link in the description so you could cop this preset kit if you'd like. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments. If you wanna hear different kind of vocal effects, please comment below and let me know as well. If you see any vocal effects that other people have asked for, go ahead and like it because the more likes that I get on a vocal effect that's in the comments, the more I will go ahead and do that. If there's more demand for it, obviously I'm gonna attend to it. I appreciate your guys' time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Peace.